Fox, yeah. It's, yeah. But we've got the Mewtwo King Marth. We've got the Mango Falco. And in typical bravery fashion with Mango, we've got him approaching Mewtwo King at the edge <laughs> at the instantly. Left. Yep. Oh, that's going to be it. There we go. You make it as hard as you can, Mango. but especially if you're Falco rather than Fox, those up Bs, like low, they don't help as much as you would like. Yep. Because you do not have that uh, fire shield. Ooh. Oh, the Mango. And right there, yep. showcasing one of the weakest things about Mars up B. No hitbox above and behind him. And so char characters like Falco, who fall faster, you can jump back and over him and then fall down to snap to edge without having to worry about getting clipped. And he's got such a hang time of like, it looks like he should grab the ledge sooner than he does, but yeah. oh, he gets meteored. Yep. We got recovery counter hit into recovery counter counter hit. We got wow. the root canal. <laughs> the root canal. Yep, just right oh, in the face. <laughs> and it hurts. It sounds like it hurts. Definitely hurts. It's the last thing you want to eat off stage is a Marth down tilt. Go. And Mango, a little hop away. Oh, yep, counter. Ooh, wow, that's going to be a bird, that yeah. down air. That's brutal. That, oh. Now, I kind of, I understand the desire to go over and being willing to take a risk to suddenly cheese out a stock of Mewtwo Kings and get yourself back in the game. Because he is so good at playing the long game that it can be a nightmare going into an attrition battle against him yeah. and having to chisel away because his facing is so good and he hits so hard. And of course, if you just mess up, oh, well, next game. game. But, and that's, you saw Mango go, nah, next yeah. game, and he just scored oh, beast. when he goes back, I don't know. Back? I, I'm I'm a little bit perplexed with this uh, this pick, honestly. Yep. I mean, I get it because it's Mango. He's got like a point to prove. Like, all right, all right, you got me that game. And I don't think this yeah. is necessarily like a bad stage in the matchup for Falco or for Mango in particular. But you know, if you get three stocks, maybe you want to look into doing something you know a yeah. bit different with stage. I mean, if but... it's you know if it's an off the stage kill, a low percent off the stage kill, yeah. then. Most of the time, the level itself isn't actually the problem. I guess that's true. Oh, you see, yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm going to let the beam die. Yep. But hey, you see right there Mango popping up and grabbing the edge from behind Marth's head? Uh -huh. That time, it's not even to edge hog. It's just that Marth goes over the edge, but Falco doesn't get hit by the FB. That leaves him free <laughs> to actually pop back on stage and finish him how he chooses. Right. And we're already seeing it, man. It's already doing better. Oh, yeah, already I mean, doing way true. better. Maybe you just need to wake up a little bit. That's all he's saying. Yep. Baits out that side B. Mewtwo King, like, I, he didn't have any resources left. He had already burned his double jump. Yeah. So it was kind of like, when is Mango going to jump out and try to hit him? Yeah. Uh, and he was close enough to the stage that Mango could have done that any time. So he kind of preemptively threw out that side B. Yeah, but you know, that's like that's a mini game that you've got to get it good is. at winning on both ends if you want to survive or edge guard, respectively. Right. Ooh, this ledge dash from Mango. Hey, he's actually busting out uh, Falco ledge dashes. Oh, dude, he's been doing it for a little bit. Yeah, it's uh, this is new and improved Mango. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he gets the, the slightly the wrong hitbox in the down air. This is Schnack Mango. Though. Oh. Yeah, that right there. It doesn't have to be Fountain. It can be anywhere. anywhere. That sort of thing is going to happen to you if you're Falco against Marth. If you're uh, Falco against Marth off stage like that, it's not a good look. Mango, very happy just to get sent the other direction. Look for that cheeky up smash. Didn't get it. Is that it? That's it. Yep. The double dip. Classic. We got Mango. Trying to work on a two stock, but Mewtwo King has something to say yeah. about that. No. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Mango's still cooking. Mewtwo King, turn him back. Got yep. his own short <laughs> the, the platform kind of getting in the way in those double lasers is working out perfectly for Mango. <laughs> yeah, the, like Falco's short hop. That's it. I oh. knew he was going to go for it. Everyone and their grandmother knew Mango was going for that down there. <laughs> I knew he was going to hit. There's no chance. Mango has a stock like that, a stock lead. There's no chance he doesn't go for it. Yeah, he starts to feel himself. And he goes, if I hit this, I it's win. It's over, yeah. I mean, I'm going to try and hit this. Yeah. So we'll see. I mean, obviously, Mewtwo King on FD. Yeah. I like it. Mango goes goes to center. He's like, all right, all right. I got move. Go in. I'm ready, dude. <laughs> but you're also, when you start dancing away like that, one of the things Mark wants to do is creep in maybe with a down tilt, choke out your space, and get back uh -oh. to center himself. So when you represent a little bit of movement stalling like that and you move right back in, it's not as dumb 
or as foolishly aggressive as it looks. But Mitu King, he's, I mean, he's a patient guy. He's willing to wait. So it doesn't work as well against him as it might against someone else. And some FD coming into play. So one thing I I do want to uh, point out about I've watched a lot of Mewtwo King as a Marth main. Obviously, I've watched a lot of Mewtwo King. Watched a lot of Mew, uh, of Mewtwo King on FD in particular. So I, I often wonder why he opts to up tilt so early in the chain grab. Um, when it's just, I guess he just he highly values the knockdown. But it just seems like you know it's not going to tip. So I don't know. It's curious. It's possible that he is uh, guessing a little too hard on their DI and yeah. expecting to get a tip in one direction and then he doesn't. I guess that's true. And he's just, he values the damage, yep. I guess. I don't know. Okay, or counter. it's possible if he just hasn't practiced it enough lately, he's not feeling confident. He'd rather end early, maintain position rather right. than try and extend a combo. Is that grab? That throw, look, look at that. That does, what, 5%, 4%? Yeah, it's just out of there. See that little eyebrow flick? Yeah, I saw You're that like, little yep. eyebrow raising. All right, yeah, it's coming. <laughs> but the good news for Mango and Mango fans is that FD is out of the way. You only have one more game to, to play with, but at least... That stage is, is gone. <laughs> yeah, Dreamland picked uh, less for the survivability off of KO moves and way more for the room. Right. So he's getting his kills off of things like Dare Dare, Hedgehogs, back airing Marth, not killing him off the boundaries. He's not dying off the boundaries. So what he really cares about is the dimensions of the stage proper. Yeah. And Mango hit hard. Yeah, he hits hard. I'm liking that tracking with the falling up airs. But a great super clutch slide off on that top platform from Mango. Uh, it's, I think it's um, definitely more common in today's meta. That's a little hop into the fastball. Mango pixel away from recovering. Mewtwo King got phased. I mean, he's, sometimes I don't even know what to say about Mewtwo King because he's running his game so effectively. This is like... We've seen this. Yeah. And Mewtwo King is at his best when he is doing that thing that he has practiced a billion times, you know, throwing a space animal off the level. <laughs> it's basically a national pastime at this point. Yeah. Mango taking control of the low ground with lasers, Mewtwo King retreating to the platforms. I think there's another hidden benefit of these higher up platforms, which is that if Mango fires low lasers and you go up, like, for Mango, it takes longer for Marth to actually get down and start smacking you with a sword. Yeah. That's a little extra time to get a shield out, a little extra time to react. That's like one of the most melee, mo melee moments I've ever seen. Falco's forward smash and Marth's forward smash clanking. What, yeah. what wins, metal, boot, or steel sword? <laughs> I guess they tie. And yep, Mango coming on down behind it. Got to pay attention to your spacing. Shieldbreaker does reach uh, kind of far above him. Yeah. So make sure you're behind him if you go in for that. The last thing you want to do is Martha's charging Shieldbreaker in the middle of the level and you just jump on top of it. Yeah, you're right. It does have a deceptively big, like, upward hitbox. So you're right about that. Right here, Mango got Marth to a pretty juicy percent where a down air is going to start leading to pop-ups and a little more control. Not going to get CC grab or anything like that. Nice. Laser to cover tech in place, miss tech and tech away. And then just a reaction, F smash in on the roll in. You don't really CC grab out going down here, do you? No. Eh, whatever. <laughs> this is in the past. Mega working on a three stock of his own. It's gone. Whoa! Oh, 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 okay, yeah. I was about to say, that's a scary situation for Mewtwo King. Yeah, that's pretty close. I mean, Mango didn't really have much there if he had. Like, Ball jump, air dodge, Mewtwo King had the ledge hop there. Oh. Yeah, does it again. <laughs> We're seeing, like, a, <laughs> there's a lot of similarities, like, a lot of the same things happening again. Three yeah. stock into a suicide down air to Flamingo the next game. Yeah. Next game, closing it out, finishing the suicide dare on his own, like, third stock. Yeah. And this is probably the most even stage that we're going to be seeing. Oh, uh, and a quick yeah for Mewtwo King. Falco life. And Mega's going to have to answer back quickly because yeah. if he starts to fall behind, and Mewtwo King can afford to play even more conservatively towards the edge, uh -huh. Mega's going to have way less opportunity to get any kind of extended combo into punish. I mean about that conservative play, although 
Mija King kind of falling down and trying to switch it up into aggression pretty rapidly. Grab control, nice drift oh. going for that tech chase on the platform. Got an accidental up smash rather than an up tilt. That's gonna be new. Yeah, Mija King following up with that up B. Yeah, utterly unfazed. He is. He has had to deal with a lot of space animals adjusting their recovery, and even though Mango is one of the best in the business, when you are that low against Marth, not good look. That's laser a good look for Mango. Yeah, laser up smash. But Mango's got a mountain to climb, he does. to say the least. Now, the fact that he kind of had his own three stocks going on the games that he won, and like only lost that extra stock, like when Mewtwo King was on his last, if the stock's right now, it's still doable. Yeah, oh yeah, it's doable, especially with Mango, just like yeah. the way he plays. <laughs> oh, immaculate recovery from Mewtwo King. Uh, some tech flows from both players in that weird situation on the platform. Yep. I love that control. Not moving inward, using the double jump, reset the momentum, and then he gets that tickle with the uh, neutral air. Not super committal, but gave him advantage. Yeah, okay. That might just be it. Yeah. Catches him DIing it. That, that fourth throw is actually really hard to react to. Oh, wow. So, okay. I'm going to talk about that interaction later. But right now, we've got Mango in his last stock. Mewtwo King with two. Starting a combo, trying to, try to do him dirty and bring it close. Stuck to CCs that forward smash to the base, just tanks it. Anti air up till. Okay. Taco side B coming in clutch. Mango, little wave dash back. Gains some space. Adjusts oh. his approach. King <laughs> almost cracking that shield. That would have been rough. Ooh, sneaky tech roll towards the edge off of that down air. And that's it, I think. Oh, yeah, but Mango that's with the. Mango with a presence of mind to DI out on the forward throw, but he was not able to make it back anyhow. Mewtwo King, those were four, no, five brutal games. Brutal games that, yeah, yeah. Re yeah, really one-sided in every game, I would, I would say. Yeah. So there was uh, one interaction over on the left that I wanted to talk about when Mango got that walk-off down air yeah. kill on Mewtwo King, mm -hmm. which is about three maybe a dozen times during the set, we saw him run off back air yep. as Mewtwo King was over on the edge and Mango was invincible. Mm -hmm. You're invincible there. You know you can't get hit with like ledge hop and air. You're not going to get turned around on. So Mewtwo King knows, I'm just going to go through and run to the middle. Mango, on that stock, walks up like he is going to do that. Then he turns. Yeah. And this says to Mewtwo King, it's not coming this time. It's not coming this time. He's looking for me to go that way yeah. so he can smash. And then... Whoop, turns, yeah. <laughs> redoes it when uh, Mewtwo King tries to refresh his invincibility. And, of course, Mewtwo King's not looking for the sudden runoff, so there's no aerial. Mango takes the stock, gets himself a little more into the game, but at the end of the day, he's the king of the Mews yeah, for and a I mean, reason. And, I mean, Mewtwo King just he hit his edge guards. Um, he hit his Mewtwo he King did. stuff. <laughs> I mean, Mango wasn't DIing properly on most of those throws. And even so, for throwing Falco off stage. Yeah. Even if you DI well, you're still off stage with yeah. very little resources if you get clipped one more and time. As you get to a higher and higher percent, DIing well means going farther and farther off the level, which right. is not where exactly you want to be. Exactly. So. Um, oh, what are you going to do? Especially as Valgo. Oh. Oh. All right, okay. guys.